Welcome to my very first Xbox Live Arcade game review, and I'll be honest, I couldn't have done it on a better game. Okay, the first thing I'll talk about is the lack of a story. Uh, basically, the game starts as you, as a little kid, waking up in the dark forest, you don't know who you are, or where you are, and, and that's it really. There, there is no opening cutscenes or anything. Um, I actually think that this is a, a, a good idea not to have a, an opening cutscene. It really gives you a sense of mystery, and it makes you want to find out who the kid is. Uh, now, definitely the best feature of the game is the graphics. Um, as you can see, everything is black and white, and your character doesn't have a face or anything, so straight away you get this very eerie, scary feeling, almost like you're watching a horror movie. Um, it's a very artistic looking game, like the contrasts of different shades, um, and it, even the trees, like how they're drawn, they're all drawn very, very scary-like, and you feel like you're always in constant danger, which, which basically you are. Now this is the type of game where you'll get stuck for a while on certain bits, which I didn't find annoying at all like many different other games. Lots of puzzles, each of them totally different and exciting to do, and once you get past a really hard section there is a huge sense of accomplishment, especially if you pull it off after like 30 minutes of trying to figure it out. One of the cool things about this game is the many different and gruesome ways of dying. Now remember, you're playing a small kid, so whenever you die by like getting squished by something, or getting shredded to bits by a bear trap, or falling onto a spike, it's very like, well, frightening I guess, and you kind of start really looking where you're going, and, and trying to see the traps before they get you, and everything becomes sus, like every little movement becomes very, very sus, and you don't trust anything, and that's, and that's the great thing about the game, it really draws you into the horrible world. Uh, now, the thing I noticed straight away was that it's not a very ga uh, complicated game to play. Um, there are basically two buttons and a joystick. You can move, jump, and drag thing, and that and drag things. That's it. And uh, those three actions can make for some really exciting gameplay, believe it or not. I finished this game in about six hours, which I think is pretty good for an arcade game. But I can't really see myself playing this game too many more times. So one more game mode would have been good, like a time trial at least. The only other bad feature I found in the game was that there was no background music at all. And I found if there was like a, a little small kind of scary music in the background, it would have made that game just a little bit more better. Now I'm glad I spent 1,200 Microsoft points on this game. Definitely worth it, a quick download and everything. Um, I think this is probably the best Xbox Live arcade game out there, so I'm going to rate it a great 9 out of 10.